Chapter 97, The Lamp. Had you descended from the Pequod's triworks to the Pe Pequod's forecastle, where the off-duty watch were sleeping, for one single moment, you would have almost thought you were standing in some illuminated shrine of canonized kings and counselors. There they lay in their triangular oaken vaults, each mariner a chiseled muteness, a score of lamps flashing upon his hooded eyes. In merchantmen, oil for the sailor is more scarce than the milk of queens. To dress in the dark and eat in the dark and stumble in darkness to his pallet, this is his usual lot. But the whaleman, as he seeks the food of light, so he lives in light. He makes his berth an Aladdin's lamp and lays him down in it, so that in the pitchiest night, the ship's black hull still houses an illumination. See with what entire freedom the whaleman takes his handful of lamps, often but odd bottles and vials though, to the copper cooler at the triworks and replenishes them there as mugs of ale at a vat. He burns too the purest of oil in its unmanufactured and therefore unvitiated state, a fluid unknown to solar, lunar, or astral contrivances ashore. It is sweet as early grass and butter he goes and hunts for his oil, so as to be sure of its freshness and genuineness, even as the traveler on the prairie hunts up his own supper of game. 